yeah, from the side, me and Tazid, good morning everybody. I was uh, getting some things ready and let Wolf talk for the first few minutes. Yeah, let Wolf talk and then <laughs> stop him. Uh, so okay, there was a fast start and uh, that tells Zurich uh, uh, the, the challenge they are confronted here in this game. So, no easy game, no surprise there. Uh, strong flipper and uh, maybe the, the team that shouldn't be underestimated uh, here on Champions uh, Cup 2016 as uh, one of the uh, possible winning teams of this uh, Champions Cup. You mean Flipper? Flipper, yeah. They, they did a fine job uh, against Eki yesterday. Yeah, they have been building up in the last two years, I mean, and getting better and stronger. So, yeah, you were surprised. You really thought that maybe Turkey was going to be a little bit stronger and then they lost 1-0, so... So, uh, we see here Flipper has quite a... Um, it's easy for Flipper to, to reach the Swiss basket. Now they come from the close side, pushing in one player, two players in waves and also a player waiting on the, cl on the open side uh, to receive the ball, to attack. But uh, um, Zurich understood uh, the working of Flipper and they try now to close in on the open side, on the close side. And uh, we saw here, the second goal. Uh, they, they just demolished uh, the defense and there was one uh, Flipper player wrapped around the basket and uh, he didn't get in the ball in the first uh, attempt, but the second one it was in. And um, yeah, Zurich, I think they, they're better than what we see right now, but uh, they seem to be asleep a little bit. Yes, uh, I would be asleep at this time early in the morning. <laughs> you are asleep. <laughs> no, I mean, those early games in the Champions Cup, I think that, you know, uh, are the hardest one because the teams need to be here like an hour earlier or so. And that means you wake up a couple of hours earlier, uh, depending on where the hotels are. So that also can be an issue. I remember in the uh, past years having, you know, mostly the Italy or Spain having to be very early playing against the uh, Norwegian uh, teams or Scandinavian teams. That was hard. Anyway, we are already uh, on the Swiss um, half and Flipper is just moving the ball around, trying to come from above, and just uh, that player came, pushed the back of the goalie up, and just tank the ball inside. The basket, I mean, that was not really big effort, it didn't look like a big effort, it looked very naturally. <laughs> so, I believe if I, we have four minutes uh, play, uh, and already three goals, it's almost one goal per minute. Let's see how it continues, let's see if uh, Switzerland can, you know, hold a little bit better. Uh, we have seen yesterday that some teams that start getting a score, then build up a little bit and could do a better defense uh, during the game. So let's but see that, that if Switzerland was a, can achieve quite a, that. a nice attack uh, of Zurich on the flipper basket. Yeah. Um, only no, for some like seconds, but uh, nevertheless, they, they build up pressure. Uh, in uh, away from uh, their own basket, and that's the most important thing to get out of the defense, get in attack mode, so you have uh, more players free to support each other. Yes, but um, what I like is Flipper. You know, uh, they know they're stronger, and they are taking it easy. I mean, they're playing nice. I mean, their tactic, and you don't see that it's really very physical, like we have seen some of the games yesterday, like it was uh, Ege against them. They're just, uh, you know, moving the ball around and attacking and, you know, just doing the game, almost practicing, you know, kind of yeah, uh, and, and warming and up. And it looked like a warm-up. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like a little bit like a current yesterday, what we saw. Yeah. It's, it's not this... Uh, uh, bullfighting um, mode, they go in with everything they have to destroy uh, their, uh, the other team, but uh, they are playing um, their system and doing it uh, precise and... Uh yeah, and they know, I mean, if they have three goals, control. they don't need to put, again, they, I mean, they have, they're going to have more games today and tomorrow, so they need to conserve, conserve their energy and, and, and use the strength when they really need it. And Switzerland uh, is, is, a, is a weaker team, so 
they can play with the tactic, they don't need to put all the body into it, and that's a, a smart way to, uh, to, to do it. Look, we have already three flippers around the goalie. Uh, on the open side, the attacker got the ball and just pushed the, the, the goalie away from the basket and uh, another score. 4-0, a uh, little bit that less than four minutes left from the first half. And Wolf is trying to Oh no, this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not awake. York just arrived. <laughs> okay, Flipper is uh, right, um, uh, is again building up uh, attack. And uh, this is, uh, well, this is what we see in this game a lot. Um, Flipper uh, going in and ripping up uh, the, the defense of Zurich. And uh, even though Zurich succeeds in uh, getting away from the basket from time to time, snatching away the ball, we have another goal here. And uh, it's already 4-0 um, here in the first game, 2016 uh, Champions Cup, the 28th Champions Cup uh, in the world. And um, Zurich uh, does its best, but it's... Uh, seven minutes in the first half of the first game of the day and uh, we are already 5-0 um, um, with a Flipper winning this game. Now it's a Zurich attack, they try to get through to the basket on the open side but one of the change players come through the open uh, side and tackle the um, Zurich player and now we have a cluster on the surface right above uh, the Flipper basket and uh, one flipper player is swimming through on the open side on the surface but it's stopped by Zurich and another one from flipper and another one so uh, meter by meter they reach the basket going in and here they score it's no surprise they are, they are the dominant team um, in this match so 6-0 for the Danish team. And we have uh, Christian Schaefer already in the in the chat to watch his game, uh, to watch his team or his uh, old team play. So good morning Christian. Hope you slept well. So um, yeah, again the same situation. We have uh, uh, a cluster on the surface, Flipper succeeds in pushing out of the cluster with the ball, going in f to the basket of uh, Zurich and even though there was a defender on the in the middle, lying in the middle, uh, the Flipper player didn't have a problem, come from the closed side at the wall to the basket and now the only chance for the Flipper goalie was to tackle away the ball um, but leaving a wide gap behind him and, but nevertheless, now they succeeded to push away the attack of Flipper. And uh, there is a, a back and forth attacking um, right in front of the basket in the middle of the, the pool. And uh, you see it's, uh, it's, it's quite a clear game and we have 36 seconds left. And uh, it's a 6-0, 7-0 now. So yeah it's a clear cut 20 seconds left and Zurich uh, well th there's not much they can rethink uh, of their tactic in this game I um, mean this is not really a challenge for Flipper I think no, they are no, like no, no, we again see I said before like warming up with yeah, the Swiss it's, team it's a warming up game for them I think too um, but for the Let's Swiss it it's, uh, can be uh, the wake up call uh, for this tournament and uh, it, it could get easier for them in the next I don't know what the next game of uh, Zurich will be um, yeah if I was it's decided checking. already um, let's see here we have uh, Ege ah they will play against Ege oh. today okay yeah of course because they are the three in the in the group they are together in the group D Flipper, Ege and Zurich and um, Zurich didn't play at all yesterday and uh, good morning Jan you're also in our uh, uh, chat 
Yeah, and Christian, as you say, they have 10 national players. Maybe the Zurich players are all national players uh, from Switzerland. We don't know. <laughs> so being a national player, it doesn't say anything. That's depends uh, on the nationality you play for. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have the break, uh, two minutes break. Um, and uh, we see Zurich um, standing together. But uh, it doesn't look like they have but to rethink their tactic a lot. No, I mean, they think they know they don't have really a chance. So probably they're just trying to... To survive in this game. No, well, survive, no, it's not that rough. I mean, they no, just... No, no, it's not. No. It, it's, it's quite a uh, an, an easy uh, game. I mean, it's not really physical. So both teams flipper is doing their tactic. They don't need to put a lot of uh, strength into it. The Switzerland is trying to see if they can do something around trying to, to defend or to get so many scores, but it's um, it's clean. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a. They're taking it easy. They're nice taking game. it like it's, it, you can tell that it's an 8 uh, a.m. <laughs> game. And they don't tend to destroy the other team. Uh, Flipper no, is not no, playing no. rough to to make a statement here. They are doing what they do and do it in a nice and uh, interesting way. We h I'm trying to see Flipper. Well, that dep depends, you know. Hi, Jan. Uh, nice to have you uh, here in our chat, and we'd like to talk to you too. Um, we will stay here at least uh, 16 hours, so you can uh, switch on and off if you want. We will be here to talk. So, um, yeah, in the break, a uh, question from uh, Christian why some. Uh, Nations like uh, uh, Sweden have problems to develop underwater rugby. Um, interesting, but I think it's always a big part of the initiative from uh, um, single people that develop underwater rugby. Uh, it's always easy to complain about the system, but um, uh, if you, if you well, it it depends on the on the money pool time and dedication of. Uh, single people like uh, for example Ricardo we have with us at home who just uh, wherever he goes yeah, in the but world is founding would be interesting. Uh, teams. If you think that Switzerland is not a book country and then normally they have infrastructure uh, and Colombia has actually the opposite and to pay for absolutely everything and, and look the development of Colombia in the last five, six years and, and, and Switzerland has been stayed in this kind of um, um, quality of games in years. So I don't, I mean, it's really, well, it's, it's an interesting topic. Okay, to know back in the game. Yeah, back in the game. Here, Zurich, <laughs> uh, uh, Switzerland against Flipper from uh, Denmark. Ah, oh, sorry, I said uh, Sweden, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jörg is dancing, so to see if we can wake up. <laughs> I think he had a very, Jörg Ertl is here standing right in front of us dancing. I think he had a strong coffee already. <laughs> But he makes me happy, and that, that's the beauty of it. So, back in the game, um, Flipper is attacking, putting pressure on the Swiss basket. And, uh, well, the, the defense is, is even... Uh, the Flipper players are all between the, the Zurich defense, and now we have one well, Zurich player trying really to, to break through. Through three, and it's... And he managed, I mean, and, and passed the ball to one of the teammates. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. but, you know, I mean, Flipper doesn't take long for Flipper just to stop Switzerland. It's like, <laughs> if they really want to, if the, the Swiss wouldn't be, I mean, they're almost fighting for every little uh, centimeter in the, in the pool and um, still really cannot come really close. Yeah. We, we haven't had a really m many attacks into Flipper baskets or... Up. Flipper is not in a hurry here. No, no, no. And I mean they have, if they play like this, they will play in the in the in the top rank uh, of Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin, and uh, they can conserve their energy. They can play it cool, and uh, they have games ahead of them, uh, tougher games, so they don't have to put all their energy in this game, which they're leading seven seven uh, zero uh, in the second half. Um, and still eight minutes left to play. We have... Um, well, we have an attacker underneath the goalie of Flipper. Um, actually, he successfully touched the goalie. 
And now um, Flipper has a counter attack and there's not even a goalie in the um, Swiss basket. So I'm wondering where are the where is the the fan club of uh, Zurich and Flipper? We have only 57 people in the live chat. Come on, guys! This is the Champions Cup. <laughs> Wake up, make a strong coffee, sit in front of the screen. It's a Saturday morning. And uh, and uh, you have to support your team. Christian so is very optimistic. He's just saying already that um, Flipper is going to meet Molde in the final. Well, we have to finish this game, even though it's uh, <laughs> quite clear. No, but it's positive thinking. And it could be, as you said, I mean, they, 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 they show us what they uh, are up to in tactic and technique and strength. So we have a lot of s good surprises, a stronger teams that, that we thought this year that, m you know, maybe will change the final between uh, uh, the, 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 the just Germany, Colombia and, and Norway. So there's a skirmish here right at the, the Swiss basket and it's uh, the, the, the Zurich team now really put some energy into defending and they succeed in, the, um, um, in stealing the ball away, fighting themselves free and Flipper is a little bit, looks like uh, uh, they're just like, okay, and now we're stepping up a, a little bit of the in, in the energy level in this game. And... Um yeah, A0 and six minutes left of the second half. Um, now Switzerland is still trying to attack and, and see if they can achieve a goal. But they, ha they have it really hard on just conquering every little yeah, bit of, yeah, the, of yeah, the pool. But, but it doesn't and look like... Without, without really a big effort from on Flipper's side. I mean, it, it looks like the Switzerland is it's fighting with everything they have and Flipper is just warming up. This is the yeah, impression yeah, that gives. Yeah, it's the, the game is quite under control. Um, there always can be a surprise goal. And uh, I think Zurich uh, um, is not, not the team wouldn't try to score and uh, now we are there in the close side of the pool in the corner there's a call from the referee first call of the referee holding without ball so it's a free throw um, against mm. flipper um, could be a chance for uh, Zurich to at least build up uh, an attack pattern to to um, reach the the Danish basket. Let's see what they can do. Well, well done. Uh, he, well the player uh, came from the close side and was on top of the goalie before he was stopped by. Um, we have one Swiss player defense. under the, the, the goalie of Flipper. Yeah. The open well, this could, this could be a, a, a surprise uh, uh, score, but. They really lost the ball. Yeah, so no, Flipper is just too much in control of the whole situation yeah. around their own basket too. And they are really chilled. I mean, they're no. coming in a counter-attack, you know, passing. You, you sound chilled. Ah, uh, yes. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Half of me is here. So, um, again, um, on the right side of the pool at the Swiss basket. And now here, one Swiss player succeeded in uh, ripping the ball away from uh, uh, the Danish player, but uh, lost it, so the was lost again, and now we have one player against the goalie coming from the head side, from the close side, on the head of the goalkeeper, but was uh, pushed away, tackled away by the Swiss defense, and uh, th th there was even the, the referee on the close side in this uh, skirmish, and now we have again Swiss in ball possession, and they try to break free, um, in their own half against uh, the defense of the forging defense of Flipper, and we have one player uh, and counter attack almost reached the basket of Flipper. But was we'll stopped, and we have already three players of Flipper defending and, and trying to record the ball. Now we have one of the attacker. Wow, that was almost a close one. I mean, um, the attacker from Switzerland really came from above, and I don't know what happened there with the goalie, but the goalie left a little opening on the basket, and the ball really was close to enter so 
Um, so we have uh, Levent uh, uh, Kavas here in the live chat. Good morning to you too. And uh, Matteo Galliano from the US Supporting Flipper. Well, uh, well, I think uh, Zurich needs your support, <laughs> our support. Um, and now we're back again here at the basket of the Zurich team and they're getting under pressure, it's 8-0 it's 8-0 uh, for Flipper my name is Wolf and this is Lorena with me, we are commenting uh, the games here on Champions Cup 2016 and uh, it's the first game of the day Flipper in blue from Denmark against Zurich in the white uh, from Switzerland. And there's a free throw against Flipper. Interesting. Uh, 29 uh, games more to come. Yeah, 29 yeah. games ahead of us. Um, we're very excited to see what the day brings in these games. Now there is Zurich trying to break through the defense of Flipper uh, right in the middle um, of the pool. Um, on the bottom of the pool, but they got stuck in the defense of Flipper. Uh, the second attack coming a little bit more over the basket. One of the big players of uh, uh, Switzerland, and he's trying to push in, but he's tackled away right, uh, right away, and is losing the ball. We have a, a cluster there, but uh, Switzerland recovered they the ball yeah, and they, they keep in possession. Yeah, they're fighting more than at the beginning. I have the impression. Yeah, well, they, w they woke up. It looks like a little bit they woke up and uh, finally they can... Uh, um York is showing they us can go book. in. And we have a cluster right over the flipper, uh, flipper basket. Uh, what, I, what I like from Switzerland is they haven't given up. I mean, it's early in the morning, they are 8 yeah, zero, yeah, it's but it's they it haven't been I mean getting totally a true. score since the last five minutes. So Even though they're they they betting now, yeah. Yes, that's, I think you know, that's an achievement. And it's, now it's a good start problem for them uh, in this tournament. So now they're woke up and uh, <laughs> they know what Hopefully it's all about. Yeah, <laughs> And they need everything they have against Ege. Uh, even though um, Ege lost 1-0 against Flipper yesterday. Uh, Ege is a formidable do uh, opponent and um, it will be difficult for Suri to, to have a better chance uh, than they did have right in this game against Flipper, against Egan. So again at the basket of uh, Switzerland and uh, it's the last 10 seconds here in the first game 2016 Champions Cup in Berlin and 5-4-3. Uh, so it will be a yeah, it will be a 8-0 here in this first game for Flipper and uh, Zurich fought hard but it was quite difficult for them to score and they didn't succeed so, uh, well, congratulations never, nevertheless for Zurich. Congratulations to Zurich. Yes. Well, the, yeah, they fought hard. It, they didn't give up. That's, that, I think that's an important point. Yeah. Uh, if you see a game like that. And even for us uh, as commentating, as the, uh, the people watching, if you see a team giving up, in a game, yeah, uh, like we saw yesterday. It gets boring. I was talking to the girls, I mean, from the US, and actually at the at the second half um, against um, who was they were fighting to. Um, they had the. Do you remember that they? G I mean, they completely stopped fighting. Yeah, I agree with Jan. Uh, well done, Zurich. Uh, no, of course, I don't want to be negative. Well done, I'm just. You never are. You, n you never are. I'm not. <laughs> so next game coming up uh, in uh, in two minutes is.